Hello and welcome friend. In today's video, I'm gonna go over what I bring in my plain air painting kit. Plain air is when you are outside painting in person. I like to have a small compact traveling kit and so I'm going to show you what I would bring on a little outdoor adventure. So what I carry in my watercolor plain air painting kit is first and foremost, a sketchbook. So this sketchbook is by Etcher. This is a cold water press watercolor sketchbook. It does open flat and I'm really enjoying painting with it. Something that I made is a mat board and I just put some clear vinyl over it and some rubber bands. This is what I use to paint one-handed. You can't forget your paints. I like to go light with my micro portable painter. And this guy is pretty small, really portable. Um, I have it set up with only six colors. So you put, this is the lid, and this is the bottom. There we go. So this is the micro portable painter. You can keep water in the left side over here, or you can use it to mix paints. I like to have it to mix paints because I have something else that holds my water for me. These are actually made for oil painters. Um, it can hold their solvents. And when you open it up, so there's water in there right now because I've been painting lately. There is a rubber seal on the inside of a lid that keeps the water inside and keeps it from le leaking. So they are safe to go in a bag and not leak everywhere. And then you can't forget about your paint brushes. So the paint brushes that I have come in this little carry case and they are made for traveling. So this is the largest brush and it comes in this hard shell, it's called a bullet, and it protects the bristles of the brush. And you put it on to extend the handle. And so this is the largest paintbrush in this little kit. And when you put it back in, you have to be careful that the hairs go nicely inside this hard shell case. And then I have a medium sized brush. And then I also have a nice little detail brush. And this comes as a set. I like to bring some clips with me to help hold down my paper. Sometimes I do like to sketch out my paintings beforehand. So this is just a pencil that I have and I also carry a kneaded eraser. Another way to use water is to have a little spritzer bottle. So this one has a nice fine mist to it. And so another way to carry water as well. I always carry some extra paper towels because it's watercolor painting and these are helpful to clean off your paintbrushes. It's always fun to carry some washi tape. I use it to tape off the edges of my sketchbook paper to make a nice white border in my paintings. Another option that you can use instead of paintbrushes is a water brush pen. So water goes inside the handle and so that kind of takes care of carrying extra containers for your water or even a spritz bottle. And so you use this to paint with. And then sometimes the most fun part of your plein air kit is picking out the bag that everything goes into. 
Um, my sketchbook doesn't fit in this bag. If I were to get a smaller sketchbook, it would fit, but you know, sometimes you have to give up a couple things. So this is what I carry for my plain air watercolor painting kit. Um, when I go out and about, these are the materials that I use. Hopefully this inspires you and gives you ideas for what to have in your plein air painting kit. If you have found a little golden nugget in this video, as in something that has helped you and inspired you on your watercolor painting journey, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, especially if you like seeing videos like these. I hope this has inspired you on your watercolor painting journey. Happy painting, friend. Really? You're going to be loud? I'm trying to do YouTube. It is loud. Maybe making a video by the hospital was a bad idea. And are those gunshots? It was quite a moment ago. Let's see if it's level. That might be more level. Are you focusing on my face? Yes, you are. Good. No sirens this time. All right, that's probably good enough. Is that good enough? Is it? Yeah, I think so.